Hi guys, it's Cam coming to you very bald. That's okay. My cheeks are super rosy because I just got done working out. I have chemo tomorrow, so I tried to get one last workout in. I worked out four days in a row, which I am so proud of myself. <sighs> you know, it's just hard to get my body moving right now, and I know I'm gonna be in bed for like the next week after tomorrow, so glad I got one last workout in. It is currently Wednesday, November 8th. It's 5.30. My house smells amazing right now because my mom is making bolognese, but I wanted to film this little video. I have this homemade sugar scrub from a family friend, so I'm gonna exfoliate, and guess what came in the mail? The new Isle of Paradise, not new, but new for me, the tanning water and a new tanning mitt. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not trying to impress anyone, but having a little bit of glow on my skin uh, helps my confidence a lot. I already used the face drops, but I'm going to try the tanning water for the first time. In the shower, I'm just going to use my Clinique face wash. I love this because it's super gentle but has salicylic acid, so that helps with my acne. And then this little face scrubber just to really kind of exfoliate my face. And then everything I'll do is outside of the shower. So I'm going to go do that. Also charge my battery because my battery's dying. Yeah, I'll check back in with you when I'm out of the shower. So let's go. Okay, so I just got out of the shower in my little robe and I'm gonna try this. So I just put lotion on my like elbows and knees and I use the hemp. This is called the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. I got this off Amazon. This smells so good, I can't even describe it. So I definitely recommend if you need a new lotion, try that. But I'm gonna try the Isle Paradise Tanning Water I'm pretty sure you just spray it until it's wet and then you massage it in and it develops in four to six hours. So I'm excited to try it and I'm gonna do that real quick and then I'll be back. Okay, that was super easy. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that again if it turns out good in the morning. I just did my arms and legs cause like not needing it anywhere else. But that was super easy. Also I forgot to mention earlier a perk of having cancer. There's not a lot of them but you don't have to shave anything anywhere. One of the few blessings of it. So my shower routine is super quick. So I always wash my hair. I mean, I still shampoo it and condition it just cause like, I don't know, especially after working out, I just feel like I need to wash it. Yeah, I hope that it turns out a little bit glowy in the morning. That would be super awesome. I don't know if you have to like do it a couple times cause I know with the face drops, I definitely have to do it for like two or three days to really like start noticing a little bit of color. So a couple things that I do that I know aren't normal night care stuff, but for me it is. Um, I put a vitamin E on all of my scars, um, especially my port because my port has been getting super dry. So I've got my neck one here. So I put that and then just on my port scar and right on top of the port also just to keep it nice and moisturized. So I do that. I think it's been helping a lot. I literally do it every day, try not to forget. And then another one of my things that's not super normal, I use this Lavish Lash Eyelash and Eyebrow Serum. I started doing this, I think even before chemo started because um, I wanted to save my eyebrows and eyelashes and they haven't fallen out yet, knock on wood. Um, I mean, all my other hair fell out, but somehow these are still hanging on strong. So that's pretty nice. So I do it on my eye, eye, eyebrows and then I just do it. I can't do it in here. I need to look in the mirror. But I do it right on top of my lash line. And they also, my eyelashes have grown so much, which is funny because I'm not really wearing makeup right now, but it's been helping. And then the other thing I use is castor oil on both my eyelashes and my eyebrows and I just rub it on a little spoolie. And I know this is really good for hair growth, so I feel like even if some are falling out, maybe it's helping other hairs grow. I don't really know. I'm literally doing whatever at this point to keep my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I feel like it's the one thing that I've still got. <laughs> my friend Katie's fell out, so I don't know. Maybe I just lucked out, or maybe with my chemo it doesn't affect these hairs as much. I have no clue. No clue how it works scientifically, but it's been helping them grow super long and pretty, so that's nice. I have just been using Vaseline on my lips. It's nice and thick, keeps them moisturized. I also love the Mario Badescu lip balm. That's amazing. That's usually what I use during the day or like a Burt's Bees chapstick. But then for skincare, just have a few things that I use. 
Um, the first one is the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, 2% plus B5. Um, I love this stuff. I use a different one in the morning. I use the Clinique Hyaluronic Acid. And then I use this one at night because I feel like this one is a little bit thicker. So I want a nice thick one that will work overnight. Why is my head still wet? I'm going to be, it's going to be so weird to like use a hair dryer and like, I don't know. Like it's weird to watch other people in videos or just in real life, like using normal products like hair products because it's just such a foreign thing to me right now. Next, I swear by this, it's the Sephora. This is also, this also has hyaluronic acid in it. It's just an under eye cream. I'm pretty sure it has caffeine in it. I think so. Um, helps a lot with when my eyes are puff or eye bags are puffy in the morning. But I also like to use it at night because I feel like, you know, the eye area is super sensitive and this keeps it nice and hydrated. To try to prevent wrinkles, I don't know, a little early to do it, but it can never hurt, that's what I think. The next one I use is also a Sephora product. I'm really into their clean beauty products right now. This is just a vitamin C and E serum. I like to do this one with a little jade roller. I've noticed that it does work not like when my face is pretty normal like this. Um, I'm trying to pat it into my forehead and my forehead just goes all the way back now. <laughs> but when my face is super bloated from the steroids, I really think that this works to push out like any lymphatic drainage. So not today, but after chemo like tomorrow and like throughout the weekend, my face is going to be so round. Like I'm telling you, I think it's so round. And it's okay. I just have to love my body for how it is right now. <laughs> because I know it's going through this crazy process. Um, but man, am I going to be happy to have my normal body and my normal face and my hair back. Appreciate the little things, folks. Appreciate the little things. <laughs> I really am loving the wig life, though. Like, I think that we should normalize wearing wigs. Like, if you're having a bad hair day, just throw a wig on because... You know, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just rolling around different places. But wigs are amazing. And I I think everyone should have a good wig that they feel confident in. That would be fun. So I just have one more thing. Maybe two. I have two more things that I usually use. Uh, I just use the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizer. And I do a drop or two of the Isle of Paradise Face Tanning Drops. Um, I don't do it every day, just when I'm feeling a little pale, or if I know like I'm not going to be wearing makeup for a few days, because really just gives me the little boost of confidence that I need right now. And I just try to make sure to rub this in everywhere, try not to miss any spots. <laughs> you know, for me it's kind of weird, I have to stop at my like, what I think is my hairline, but I'm not going to put it all over my head, because that would just be weird. So, I just do it, try to rub it all in. Now that I look like a grease ball, I'm gonna wash my hands after using that. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna use is um, the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. You know, a lot of people have said that this is just putting chemicals on your face. I've heard that a few times, but I just think it feels so good. So I'm just gonna use the rest of this and then maybe I'll switch to a more organic one, but it really just feels so good. So, I don't know. If it's really bad, I should stop, but I don't know. I also think it feels good on my full head. But yeah, that's all. I've got my matching jammy set on. This is from Christmas a few years ago. Um, and I'm just going to put this little head thing on. Um, my neighbor got this for me. So Sandra, if you're watching, thank you. I feel like a cheetah girl. Um, but it just looks so cute and uh, keeps my head warm when I'm walking around the house because it really does get cold. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll go out and try one of these products. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And yeah, I'm going to go watch some new girl and eat some dinner. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.